You're using straight gold, huh? Okay, guys. Today we're out here with Brad from Sun Jammers Water Sports and Joe Herbert. See, Hubert. Again. Is Hubert. That? Hubert from Fish On Lures. Um, he's come up from the Tampa area, isn't that right? That's right. To uh, we're going to be testing out some new stuff today. Some of his lines of lures and some of the regular stuff that Brad keeps. Probably the best selection in this area of his product. Um, so hopefully we'll get some fish on. We're dealing with, let's see, uh, 30, oh, 30 inches of visibility. Yeah, yeah, we don't have much visibility today. It is foggy. Is he on, Brad? All right. Brad is on. Brad got. I'm passing. Brad hooked up. We've been watching this nice fish move around out there and. Give a net or something you want me to scoop him with? Nah, you can uh, just get him with that boga if you can. Ooh, nice red. He might be oversized. Yep. What do you think, Brad? Nice big fish this morning. This is the first one of the morning. Like I said, uh, we've been watching him just mill around up there in the shallows, and Brad made a good cast, and the rest is history. All right, Brad, hold that fish up. Let's take a look at him. Put your hand under his belly. So yeah, get that hand under there. There you go. Nice fish this morning. That's the first one of the day. First of many. Yep, beautiful fish. All right, Joe's going to get him back in. And... How long was he, Joe? 28. 28 inches. Nice That's fish. The biggest fish I've ever seen Brad catch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brad. Fish you've ever seen me catch? All right, let's go get another one. Nope. Okay. we got a couple reds tailing. There he is. There he is. Get that damn it on video? Yep, Brad had one. Let him go. We don't catch and release Brad until we get him on camera. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Joe's, Joe's got a nice one on here, finally. Of course, me and Brad's luck. We've got uh, wind moving in on us again like we did our last trip. Fog hasn't broke yet. We got rain probably 30 minutes away. Way out there. So, but it uh, it shaped up to be another nasty day. But at least we're out here catching fish. So this one's way bigger than yours was, Brad. Way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, multi fodder. All right, another nice fish. Oh, he's definitely bigger than Brad. Uh oh. More spots, like that. Yeah, these fish got a nice gold to it. And there's a SS minnow that we caught it on the day. It's just over seven pounds on the boat grip. Yeah, a little over seven pounds. Beautiful. 20, 26 and a half inches. Beautiful fish. <laughs> All right, Joe's got another one on. Another SS minnow does the job. Hey, we're catching fish, but boy, this weather has sure turned nasty. Fish is running Joe all the way around the boat. He's done made a 360 so far. He's like, oh yeah, I was here before. I was just here. Smoking all the other butt. Trying to keep him in. Nice fish. That's way Another beautiful fish on the SS Minnow. Yeah, beautiful. All that rain. How big is he? Seven and a, 
27 and a half. That's an open tail though. 27. All right, hold him up here, Joe. Let's take a look at him. Pretty fish. Oh, yeah. yeah, beautiful. There he is. Another big red caught on wildfire braid while he wanted to go quick. All right, let's get another one. Well, he just cast uh, my spot. So I said, well, I don't want to be there. I'm going where you are. It was supposed to be. All right, Joe's got another one on. We're using a little uh, gold SS minnow with the uh, one sixteenth jig head today. Is that, uh, is that what you got on? One sixteenth penny. Now, that's, now I haven't. That's the same. That's three fish on the same bait. Yep. It's not good for selling purposes because that means they get their money's worth and a whole lot more, right? That's right. That fish. Another beautiful gold redfish. That's belly. A little small. Tournament fish is uh, 25 and a half. 25. 25. All right. Well, let's get him back in the water and go catch another one. Okay. Started raining on us, of course. Brad went ahead and we got him changed up to a gold SS minnow like Joe's been throwing and about his fourth cast. He's got one on now. Another nice fish stri stripping some drag off. That might be bigger than the other. Yeah. There ain't nothing you can do but sit here and wait. Yeah. Best feeling though, right there. Yep. Other than the strike. You're gonna claim that as your fish? All right, let's take it. Hold He's on. Claiming let me... that as his fish. Well, I you know think it. You caught it? <laughs> I know better. Hold him up, Brad. Let's take a look at him. Nice. Uh, here, while I got this fish on board, Daniel, I want to thank you, Grassy Flats Charters, out of Panama City Beach, Florida. Um, definitely put me on the fish two trips in a row, and that's hard to do. Anybody that's fished with me know I don't catch a whole lot of fish. If you come <laughs> here and put me on fish like this. Anybody can do it. Oh, there you go. You've uh, done good. That one, that, that's a nice one there. All right, well, Brad weighed him. 30 inches. What is that? About a 10 pounder, you said, Brad? Right at 10 pounder and 28 inches. 28 10 pound fish. He's fat, there's no doubt. Okay, everybody, uh, we're going to let um, Captain Joe here show you guys what we're using today and how we're going about rigging hit this particular bait that he sells and again you can buy these at sun jammers brad's got good inventory go ahead okay we're using today uh daniel you brought us out here in real shallow water so we're using a 16th ounce jig head and rigging it up on the ss minnow okay you need to cut the bottom and top of that minnow like it says on the packaging and then we basically slide that hook in here and rigged up nice and even center of the bait and that's about it tie that thing on there and throw it out and just a slow swimming retrieving it back what kind of knot do you tie for that joe i tie a loop knot on here um uh -huh. and the, but the most important thing to catching these fish is knowing where the fish are and you've done a great job today daniel i want to thank you too so i had a great time today all right well i appreciate it man you're welcome back anytime but and there's a lot of fish here and i'm really surprised that we've caught what five fish today uh, we haven't caught yeah, 40. Five, There's yeah, just five or a six. lot of fish here today. So Yeah, well, Thanks. considering the conditions with the, the rain coming in on us and the winds picked up to about 10 to 12, and, of course, me and Brad seen on it, every time we come out here, that's what we're fishing in. So Right. Well, thank but, you again. Thank you.